Where's Lou when you need him, man? Oh, yeah, Lou. Hello, welcome to the man of the world. Finally, it's such episode six. Yay! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, we are now halfway through to the season. Yay! Well, you can say I'm looking forward to see how this episode goes because I'm actually really looking forward to it because you can say I saw the preview and the one thing I saw from the preview that got me really excited is the fact that Maha is finally here, everyone. Oh my god. The third final girl is here, guys. The, supposedly, the hottest girl that everyone loves in this series is here. So, I'll be looking forward to it, of course. Because if people say that she's like a Nessan type of character, she's a like nice looking figure too. I say, okay, I'm so ready, man. So you can say I'm looking forward to see what's the story, how she became Lu's assistant, well, Harum in this case. And so, you know, looking forward to see Maha into this episode. But you can know, say last episode was a pretty much a very laid back episode-ish because, you know, it was a father and son duel. In the end, son proved the father that he has improved over time already. And now he had to go to this port town to become a merchant, to train as a merchant for two years. I'm pretty sure that's where he's going to meet Maha anyways. And you can say he's going to be a spy along the way and of course deal with the other stuff along the way too so yeah looking forward to see how he goes about to become a merchant with a new disguise name so yeah looking forward to it, of course and of course i've been confirmed this by chibi review by the way that this well this past five episodes including to this episode is still on volume one. Oh my god man like we are still on volume one now that is some 86 level adaptation man so you can say this light novel is being taken seriously rather than speed running of course so i'm very happy that this year is getting adjusted it deserves of course so with that said, let's get started, actually, shall we? Okay, we should and let's get started, shall we? So I heard today's episode is going to be anime original, apparently. Well, we shall see. I mean, light novel readers, manga readers do come from it to read below, of course. But with that said, let's get started with Ep Maha episode in 3, 2, 1, play! Oh, Tarte. Okay. Hey, Opai girl is here. She said this is going to be Lou's new look, I guess. Yeah, this is gonna be Lu's new look, right? Yep. Oh my god, yo, he dyed his hair black. Or transformed with black. Okay, so this is his new look for the time being. I mean, his face the same though. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I'm a merchant. Ilgbalo. He wears the glasses too. I mean, those are fake glasses, but. I mean, he still looks like Ludo, if you think about it. Well, let's just see how Maha episode goes for today. Resident of Girls. So, it seems like Maha will be the final girl to join the harem. Or she should join the assistant harem. Mm -hmm. Hey, Maha! Let's go! Everyone's waifu. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow, it seems like she's quite persistent looking, helping the guy look for a place to go, I guess. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. How old is she, by the way? Hey, the team. Well, it seems like they're working as tour guides or, so to say, guides around the town. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, are they doing their own business or something? I feel like the girls are like doing their own business. Like, are they from an orphanage or something? Like, what are they doing though? Are they, are they earning some quick, uh, some quick money? Okay, seems like they are running their own business or some from the looks of it. Mm hmm. How old are they, by the way? 13, 14? Yeah, it seems like the girls are like doing their own business. Huh, wow, they're quite mature enough to do this, something like this already. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. I mean, she is the leader of the team, I guess. Yeah, it seems like Maha is like the leader of the team, helping them like navigate around. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure something bad is going to happen to them though. Yeah, I feel like something bad is going to happen to the girls soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Wow, that's business. I mean, can't be helped though, I gotta say. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, are they actually like having their own life right now? Wow, interesting. Oh, so her mother, her father was a merchant before he died and left her stranded. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Well, it seems like they're street girls doing their own business and trying to find ways to, you know, rise the rank in the society. I mean, I gotta say, I mean, coming from a merchant family, I can see how she can able to lead them to do some good business. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, what the hell? Oh, hey! Wow, Maha! Holy shit! Oh! So she have magic. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what? These guys are slave, uh, slave traders, are they? I think they're slave traders. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, ho ho. Well, like I said, I have a bad feeling about this after all. I knew it. Yeah, I think they're slave traders for girls. They're slave traders. Like, what the fuck, man? Their life was going, doing so well until this shit happens. And now this life is going to be miserable or something. Okay, seems like their life turned to a worse. Thanks, Q, Rain. I mean, even with Rain, though, there's, without Rain, they're still going to get captured anyway, so... Who are these people? Like, slave traders. I think they're slave traders, man. Oh yeah, orphanage. Yeah, orphanage. More like a place for them to nurture them for sale, I guess. Oh, ho ho ho. Wow, okay. I mean, they've been forced into it though. I gotta say, that's, that's pathetic for these men, but... They want to use them for trading, I guess, so... How old are they, by the way? Oh... Oh... Basically, they use them as a way to earn money. What the fuck, man? And you treat them miserably like this too. Like, come on, guys. I mean... They, this is how they earn money. By kidnapping girls and shit like that. Oh, well, let's just see how their life turned out. I mean, at least they have something over the top, though. I mean, you can say they're having a, ha uh, like a very stable life right now with the roof over the top and some food, but how much will it last, though? How much will long will they last with this? Come on, man. Seriously? Seriously? What the fuck, man? Seriously, man. These men have no shame, man. 
Piss off. Piss off. Oh, so a buyer, I guess. It's a buyer. Huh. Yeah, this is the buyer for today, I guess. He never guess you're gonna choose a girl with a more, much, much more mature look. <laughs> cool. I'm pretty sure it's the one with the more mature body, I guess. I knew it. It's not Maha, but it's her. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Maha too? Oh, never mind. I thought, I thought Maha's not going to be chosen, but Maha too, huh? Wait, what? Wait, what? Are they showering her? In oh my god, what? Yo. Did it just... Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my... Mmm. Uh, yeah, I think this is uncensored. I think that's a censored version. I mean, this, this is a censored version. This is an uncensored version. Mmm. I mean, I can see why the guy chose her, chose Eve, because she has a more, you know, look to her, I guess. Um, let me guess. He's gonna be beaten up badly or something. Oh, it's back. Wait, what happened? So it didn't go so well, I guess. I guess it didn't go so well. What the hell happened to her? Oh no, she got abused, didn't she? She got abused, man. Oh my god. Yep, I knew what she got abused. Hmm. What the hell, man? What happened? Mm hmm God, what the fuck happened, man? Yeah, I think she got abused by the buyer or something. Like, got harmed in the face or something. Dude, she's dead from the inside. So it's something really shit happened to her, like, big time. I think she's gonna go into. I think she's gonna commit suicide or something. I feel like she's gonna commit suicide soon. Wait, what? Wait, what now? Oh my god! I, I feel like she's gonna commit suicide soon. Oh my god, is it like a routine now? It's part of the routine, like seriously. Because she's the more mature look to her, I guess. Oh, they, them too? Okay. So they get washed up to and get fucking abused. Like, what the hell happened? Oh my god, like... What the fuck, man? 
Oh, oh shit, no. Yo, dude. Dude. Oh, oh. Oh, oh shit, yo, dude, is she scratching her face? Oh shit. Yeah, I feel like they'll be bought just to be abused. Oh my god, these girls, oh, I feel so sorry for them, man. Two years later. Wait, two years later? Damn. They've been doing this for two years. Fucking hell. Dude, they were 10! Holy shit, so they were 10 when they got- Oh my god, what? And so it seems that like Maha's next, I guess. Yeah, Maha's next, man. Maha, you might as well try to run away. You might as well just try to find ways to run away, man. I feel like, uh, dude, I really want to find out how Lou find, found her, man. I really want Lou to rescue her now. We know that she's gonna end up with Lou somehow, but... Oh my god, dude. Don't! Hey, my boy, Lou! Hey! Oh my god, yo! To the rescue! Yo, Lou to the rescue! Yo! Oh my god! Yes! Lou to the rescue, man! Oh my god! Yeah, she. I we know who you're gonna choose, Maha. I want you. I want you. Let's go, Maha. <laughs> Come on, he's a Prince Charming. Well, yeah, I think that's how she sees it, though. Hey! Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you double. Exactly, right? I'll take double. <laughs> oh, he got the payment. Nice. Oh, damn. That's a lot of money, man. Why not today? Why three days? Why not now? Oh my god, they're gonna do something to Maha in the, within the three days, right? Yep. Yeah, I can see how they did the, to the girls, man. Like, they sold them off, they sold them off. But then they, they used that time to like abuse them. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lou is sending him a warning, man. Lou is sending him a warning. You know, if Lou said... I think Lucas maybe saw something in his act, though. I, I feel like Lou saw something in him. That's why maybe he's onto him or something. Yeah, I can I can finally understand how the business works. Like, basically, the girls are sold off, but then the, the guys use that opportunity to abuse her and stuff like that. Make her, like, unsortable. Dude, Lou, I think I think this is a time to save her, man, because she's gonna get abused. Mm hmm. Bullshit, man. Absolute bullshit right now. Yes, OG Sama. Wait for it, man. He will come and rescue you. Knowing Lou, he saw through your act. Hey, hey, yes, let's go. Aha, let's go, run for it.
Run for it, girl! Wow, she got some strong magic, by the way. Oh, never mind. Jesus Christ, man. Where's Lou when you need him, man? Oh. Yeah! Lou, right? <laughs> That's go! Oh, yes, my boy! To the rescue! Oh my god. Dude, Lou knew it. I see, I told you, Lou saw it coming, man. He saw it. He knew what's going on. Oh my god, let's go, Maha. Oh, my boy, Lou, man. Oh, piss off, fatty. Mm-hmm. Yes, you time, all right. Dude, come on, man. Oh, really now? You're, you're underestimating Lou now? Yeah, so what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Don't mess with Lou, man. Oh, yes. oh my boy. Mm hmm. Yes, that's my boy Lou. Mm. Oh, oh my God! What the fuck? Wait, isn't he the? Hey, what? The guards are here. Aha! Oh, so he was part of it. Hey, no way. That's Tarte, right? That's Tarte. Yeah, I knew it. That's Tarte. Oh my god, Lou planned this, man. Lou planned this. Nice. <laughs> it's all the scheme to, uh, uh, you know, expose the legal traders. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god, no way. Lou healed her face. Oh my god, yo. Lou healed her face, man. Dude, this is just beautiful, man. This is beautiful. OG Sama. OG Sama. Oh my god, dude. Best episode yet, man. Dude, dude, this episode, I'm loving it. Dude, best episode yet, man. Oh my god, dude. Maha story, man. I gotta say. I feel sorry for her, man. Like, seriously, I really feel sorry for Maha because, like, she and her friends were, like, doing quite well in, on the street, you know, doing tourist business, but, you know, their life got taken away by from those sc scummy illegal traders and, you know, taken in to the, the, the orphanage. Yeah, orphanage and being abused for the past two years. So, fucking hell, man. I gotta say, I really feel sorry for them. I re I, I, Maha's story really gave me a bit of feel too because like dude like oh like taken in in abuse and you know you've been raped even I guess that's what the girls are like that I mean I'm su I, I'm surprised none of them were committing suicide like you know you go through all that pain and mostly you know you end up committing suicide but the girls that decide to stick with it well some of them hurt their face they look ugly but well, I gotta say, I'm very glad Lou came in the end. I mean, I was like wondering how Lou and Maha meet, but turns out Lou came to the orphanage and rescued Maha. Well, yeah, rescue her, not like adopt. I mean, maybe Lou kind of knew what's going on uh, in the orphanage. And of course, he knew that the, the guy with the whiskers was also part of the illegal trading and stuff like that. That's why he told Tarte to stop him. So, damn, I gotta say, fair play, Lou. You are chat of the moment, man. You literally the prince of the moment. I'm very glad Lou came in the end, though, because like, I gotta say, if Maha get you know get treated like that, I'm I'm gonna lose it, man. I'm absolutely gonna lose it. But also, I, I feel like Lou came uh, came for Maha because maybe you no know, Lou have the the eye the the eye the um, the eyes though able to maybe he saw something in Maha. That's why she he came for Maha. why it's like why did he choose Maha though? Maybe he did, like he found Tarte this tech the a lot of mana energy around you know Maha. So that's why he came for Maha in the orphanage. So. I gotta say, fair play, Lou. Yeah, you came to rescue Maha, and now she's gonna be your assistant. Well, one of the best looking girl assistant, I gotta say. She has a nice body, but she has a nice look to her face, man. She is like one of those like beauty that you can get along with. 
So yeah, I mean, a very beautiful backstory. I'm a very beautiful story. I mean, not beautiful, but very well told story for Maha. How she got brought badly and how she got rescued. And damn, I gotta say, this episode was just was really good. It's really good for his own ways of telling Maha's story, man. Like she goes through all that and Luke coming in to save her. It's just a, a beautiful Prince Charming episode, man. You know, this is a beautiful Prince Charming episode and I can and I'm really going for it. And of course, next episode, we may see how Maha fit into Luke's like, you know, work now as like being part of the merchant family. I'm pretty sure Maha will soon find out he's an assassin, but she, she's all for it, man. She say she called Lou her Prince Charming and she's going to go along with it. She want to be with, with by Lou's side for now on because you know Lou is badass too and, Ma and Maha can provide a good assistant too so yeah I do wonder what role she would, would she play in Lou's you know assistant now I mean she's not a frontline worker but I feel like she's more of this sort of negotiator or something because you know she does well with business on the streets before she could get captured of course so yeah I feel like she's gonna be like the negotiator in, um, in Lou's team so gotta say Ma Maha if, if if she can prove me she prove me that she's gonna be best girl next episode she could even be my top five favorite girl for this year already so yeah looking forward to more to come from this series and with that said hope you guys enjoy my reaction smash the button and i'll see you guys next time